it's easy to get in a rut when it comes to dinner time. But what if you could take the same recipes you already know and make them even better? The tips I'll show you in this recipe can make every weeknight dinner better and more delicious. You might be thinking that adding salt or seasonings is the only way to add flavor to your food. But there are better ways to get major flavor without adding too much fat or sodium. That's what our toasted orzo skillet with shrimp recipe is all about. I make this recipe for my family all the time, and the simple skills like searing shrimp, sweating aromatics, and toasting orzo add deep and delicious flavor to this great everyday meal. I'll get started by seasoning the shrimp with a little lemon pepper rub and heating some oil in the pan till it's hot. It's important to get the pan nice and hot so the shrimp sear. Searing is a really fundamental cooking skill where you cook food, usually meat, poultry, or seafood at a high temperature until it develops a crust. It's the quickest and easiest way to cook shrimp and it gives them really great flavor. Once the pan is hot, I'll add the shrimp and cook them for about two to three minutes per side. When they're done cooking, they'll have a browned exterior and a tender interior, and they'll look opaque with a pearly pink color. Next, we're gonna melt some butter in the same pan so it gets all the delicious flavor the shrimp left behind. Then I'll add some onion, some garlic, and a little bit of salt, and let them sweat for about one to two minutes. Cooking these aromatics with a little fat or sweating them helps them release their flavors and moisture. Now that the onions are soft, I'll add the orzo and stir while toasting for about two to three minutes. Toasting orzo is an easy way to boost the flavor. It gives it a nutty taste and a golden color. You can really smell it toasting. Now I'll add the broth and peas and bring it to a simmer. You're gonna see the liquid being absorbed into the orzo when it's cooking. When the orzo is done cooking, add the shrimp back in with half of the cheese and the lemon juice and stir it all together. I love how the lemon juice really brightens up this recipe and makes it taste fresh. Then finish with the remaining cheese and fresh parsley. So, you can see that pairing simple ingredients with fundamental cooking skills like searing, sweating, and toasting gives this recipe great flavor. It's the perfect easy recipe to share with your family and friends.